So hello YouTube and welcome to another video. In this week's video I'm going to be doing a little bit of a story time where I go over my life at school and my experiences. FYI it's not going to be as positive as you think it will be. Now I would just like to put a disclaimer in that I will not be mentioning any names, I will not be mentioning the name of the school, I won't be mentioning anything like that because obviously I haven't been at that school now for probably about six years so I don't know if it's changed since then. To start off with, from year 7 to year 11 my life was pretty quite simple. I was an average intelligent student who didn't speak and was bullied for their acne <laughs> and for loathing David Tennant. That's basically my school summed up. The teachers were great. I didn't have any problems. I had, I had, okay, I had a problem with one teacher who was my English teacher and I think it's because I passed a note around class once and she got it, scowled at me and then never said anything about it but then just treated me like crap <laughs> for like the next like half a year. Basically, some examples that I remember is she pulled me up to the front of the class when she knew I didn't understand what I was doing and knew I was anxious and was like, oh, do you want me to hold your hand? And then proceeded to try and hold my hand in front of the whole class where people were laughing at me. That was fantastic. Um, and then she yelled at me uh, for not having my book, my English book. I said to her it was because she had my English book to mark and she was like, no, go and get it from my classroom. I went to her classroom, couldn't find it, was shaking on the way back because I was so scared she was gonna yell at me. I then went into the classroom, explained that I didn't have it and she was like oh no don't worry just grab a new one and I was like okay it all worked out in the end she did end up being quite nice to me in the end um I did an essay and she said it in front of the whole class it was like one of the best essays that she'd had and you know like I don't know what happened but she basically changed her mind and how she felt so basically apart from that specific incident my school life was quite simple so now we're going to fast forward <laughs> to uh the second year of sixth form where basically my entire life <laughs> just went really fast downhill. So basically when I was in my second year of sixth form, uh, before it actually started, we needed our timetables and they said they'd give it to us by 12 p.m. Now, if anyone knows me, I'm not great when it comes to other people's time management. If you say 12 p.m., it better be there by 12 p.m. And I got so sick and tired, I basically went home. And that wasn't, by the way, what they were annoyed about. <laughs> they weren't annoyed about that. I wrote a status, unfortunately, I don't have that status, I wish I kept it. I wrote a status on Facebook saying that the school was unorganised, that they were a joke, <laughs> that, um, you know, I'd been waiting six plus hours for my timetable and sat there pretty much doing nothing all day. Now, in most people's lives, that would be like, great, free time off. I would have rather gone home, but I couldn't go home until I had my timetable. So I actually got sick and tired of waiting and left. My two best friends liked my Facebook status, which I thought was really funny. Uh, now, not at the time. My, I think they were either my tutor or they were a volleyball coach because I was in volleyball at the time. Just keep that in mind. They sent me a message, which I will put up here. And they basically told me to remove the status because it wouldn't look good. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we all had a laugh about it. My friends had a laugh about it. My parents had a laugh about it. We were all great in the world. I came in about 8 a.m. the next morning to an email from my headmaster of the school saying they needed a meeting with me. And I was like, okay, bit weird. Went into a room with her, another woman, and a man. At this point, I would like to also note that I had no representation from my tutor or my coach, which was in their endowment as the first act. If you were gonna have a meeting about disciplinary action, that was one of the first things that you were meant to have there. I didn't have that. I also didn't have a letter home, FYI, which was another section of the endowment. And then I didn't get um, a final warning. <laughs> So keep that in mind, they're the three stages before what happened to me, okay? They're the three ones. So basically I went into the room and they were like, can you read this for me? And a picture of my status was there and I was like, mm -hmm, that's wonderful. And obviously because I was emotional at the time, uh, because I didn't feel like I'd done anything wrong and then I realised I'd done something wrong, <laughs> I started crying. In this meeting she um, basically ripped me a new one and was like you're a spoiled child or a spoiled girl it was one or the other and that I didn't basically appreciate everything that they'd done for me um, and the fact that because they actually changed the name of their school they um they said I ruined their reputation um I think you'll find that they ruined their own reputation and um I just pulled it down a few more notches with the new change of the school name but basically yeah they they said to me that I was um I don't know if it was suspended or excluded but basically I wasn't allowed to do the volleyball program anymore or the strength and conditioning program um they let me do my education because they said that was important. Um, so fair enough for that. 
Um, and then basically I was like, once she'd left, um, I think the guy had left as well and there was one woman left and I just asked her, because she was, I thought, a nice person and most people would agree with that. And I said, well, what can I do? And she was like, there was nothing that can be done. You've done what you've done now. And I was like, oh, great. So basically you're not also going to help me. Fantastic. Thank you for that. I then proceeded to go to my drama teachers and my tutor crying, explaining what had happened. Um, they felt, I think, they obviously couldn't have too much of an opinion but they basically were like, yeah, this isn't a great situation, you shouldn't have done the status, but they didn't agree with the way I was treated. So they then helped me to write a letter of apology, which I found, <laughs> and I will attach here. I would, um, if you want to read it, or if you want me to read it at any point, maybe I will, but uh, it was the soppiest fucking apology I've ever, oh, please forgive me for I have sinned, basically. <laughs> and um, six weeks later, they let me back in, um, and they said, oh yeah, they could see how, you know, apologetic I was. And they basically were like, yeah, go on, then you can come back in. And for the rest of that year, it was absolutely fine. <laughs> that, But to be fair, like in between that, which was quite funny, the time when I was actually suspended, I had to go to Buckingham Palace because I was um, a part of a competition that two of the media students invited me to be a part of. I wasn't a part of the programme anymore. And they made me wear a badge with the logo for the thing that I'd been suspended for to Buckingham Palace and then in front of one of the royals who I'm going to put a photo here I've blurred out the faces of the people one of the people who was involved in it and then the royal that I met which you can now see it's no longer a royal so basically a bit awkward they went around the group and they said you know explain to you know ask what they the school's done for you and I basically in front of the person who had suspended me said that I appreciate that they what they did for me and that they brought me to where I am today I had to basically lie when I went to Buckingham Palace to try and improve on the credit that I had and it was very sad and just horrible really have I forgiven them for it of course not otherwise I, I wouldn't have kept all this evidence because you know they shouldn't have treated me the way they had so i hope you liked that video if you did you can give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments any other videos you'd like me to make and i shall see you later youtube bye